Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I'm excited to paint today. I actually did a little painting this morning already because um, I got up really early. I couldn't sleep. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys? <clears throat> I missed doing this last week. I'm sorry I didn't announce whether I was doing it or not um, because I wasn't sure. I was holding out hope all the way till the morning. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Diane. Um, but we needed to go to New Hope where we had um, Thanksgiving with my husband's family and we had to go get ready. We had so much to do. Good morning. So I just couldn't fit it in. How oh, are you guys? Okay, so it's been absolutely crazy and very fun. I spent my evening last night. I was all ready to go to yoga class and it ended up not happening. And so I spent my evening, I'll show you, I was packing up. Oops, let me turn this around. <clears throat> right. Oh, that's all my paintings uh, so far that I'm getting ready to ship out. Well, I don't know if I'll take it to the post office today. Probably tomorrow since I will be late. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning to Kuwait. Wow. Awesome. So, I've been busy doing that. I've had a lot of fun doing all this, this holiday holiday stuff I kind of feel a little bit more in the spirit just because I feel like I've been working on Christmas things for like a month now but I know it's going to be on us in no time so anyway I think I'm going to do another ornament this morning I'll turn this around I'm going to do that little cute little I, I still does everybody have your do you all have your holiday stuff out I have not done a thing because we were away for Thanksgiving we're way behind on there. Whoops, it's kind of moving. Um, there, is that better? That's probably a little better. I'll push this back. Sometimes it's easier to switch my easel than it is to change the camera. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I didn't even get out my ornaments and, and I did buy a few. I went to a tour of homes in Marietta, Pennsylvania on Sunday and they had some of those shiny brights and I bought a few. But this actually isn't one of them. I did take a couple photos the other day. Anyway, I'm just rambling on here. It's time to get started. Um, this is kind of fun. It has some unusual colors in it, which is cool. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I need a brush. And my transparent, or my uh, medium. And I think this, it's going to be a little challenging just because the color is different than, than what I'm used to creating. But I was kind of thinking about it here before I started. It's kind of a green, kind of a blue. There, I should have got more greens out. We were away too, just got fall stuff moved. I know, it's crazy to keep up with all of it. Especially when you go away, then, you know, there's no time to do it during the week. I think we're going to have to, though. It's all good, though. It's all good things. We had a nice time with family. I was crazy busy. Fun family. I got to see my son and his girlfriend. They came for a little bit. And um, he lives in Baltimore. They live in Baltimore. And, and his girlfriend's family came for a little bit, so it was nice seeing them. But we were mostly with my husband's cousins, and they're all high energy, which I love. I feel a little out of practice reading and, and painting at the same time here. So everybody just ask me if you have questions or anything, pop in. I missed hanging out with you guys. I hope over the Christmas break, I always think Christmas break, I always think every break's going to last forever. Like, 
I think about Christmas break and I think there's going to be endless days of time to just go out to breakfast and go to market and it usually goes by in like five minutes flat, right? But I would like to do maybe another, a painting live at a normal time of the day. Viridian. I think I am using Viridian. I had it out from before and I should get it out again because I think I'm going to need Viridian for sure. What did I do? Did I keep losing? Oh, I'm always losing my paints. Cobalt green. of a fun color. Of course, I have no idea where Viridian went. I kind of had my paints organized in little buckets of, but this is a fun one here, Radiant Green. May I put a little bit of that on my palette? Of course, you know I'm going to not be able to find Viridian. I couldn't find my black anywhere the other day. Not that I use it that much, but I do use it definitely like in the bird bird's eyes when I'm painting birds. I sold so many of those cute little tiny four by four bird paintings. It was so much fun. I'm still doing a few more. I can only do a little bit more and then I won't be able to ship them in time to get to people by Christmas because they won't be dry. <clears throat> but I think I still have a little bit more time. Sandy, yes, it is an antique ornament. <clears throat> It's pretty, isn't it? <clears throat> now, when I'm looking at it, I'm thinking a little bit, like, when I zoom in here, like, there's different colors that are reflecting in here. It kind of looks pink or yellow. I want to add a little bit of that color in there. And look at how the green is glowing a little bit in that shadow. So I want to make sure I don't misplace that. <clears throat> Uh, someone says, I'm looking at your paintings, especially flower painting. When am I going to have that kind of, you have nice talent, thank you. It's just lots of practice. I paint like every single day. Even though I have a full-time job and a family and a million other things going on, I make an effort to try and paint every single day. I think I'm improving. Sometimes I don't necessarily see it. Isn't that crazy? Like, I don't know that my style's changing or evolving, but I think it is. It has to be. What do I want to do? I'm going to add some yellow just so I kind of remember bright spots. Sometimes when I tuck things in, too, it's a, so that I remember to change the colors a little bit. I like a little bit of unexpected, too. I'll probably play around <clears throat> with adding in something in here that you don't even necessarily see. Because <clears throat> I love that in a painting. I think I'm close to finished with my big donut. I showed you that before <clears throat> here beside me. I think I'm really close. Um... That's for a gallery in, in Philadelphia. Um, so I need to do a few more things for that. It's, that'll be January in no time. Like I want to start making my goal list for next year. Part of me is like, whoops, got a big drip going on. Oh, you want to see the donut? All right, let me know what you think. I'll show you the donut. <clears throat> I have to step back a little bit. Whoops, my phone's caught here in all these things. Whoops. Bumping. I'm I sit in a tiny little area and it's oh, that's the donut. I think I'm finished. I played around a lot more with working on like the shadows <clears throat> and the pops of color. That's really fun. Is the gold paint you use on the sides 
of your bird's oil paint. Oh, no, Jackie, it's not. Um, I use, here, let me show you. I use this, it's called Matisse Structure. It's an acrylic paint, so it dries quickly. And I love it, it has, it's thick enough. It's kind of just, it's perfect. Oh, good, you guys think, does it look finished? Do you think it looks finished? This is this, I got this crazy like light to add light for when I'm painting, but then you see the reflection of it. All right, are we back where we belong? I think so. Okay, that was a little field trip. This looks cool in here. It looks like watercolor. Can you see that? It looks like it's, um, I'll show it to you. I don't look like watercolor. I love watercolor. I love when my oil paints look like watercolor. I don't know why. Glowing donut. Good, that was my goal, glowing donut. All right, now I need to mix a shadow color. dark. I love you. Have a good day. Did you see your papers up there for track? I guess so. <laughs> Isabel starting winter track now. It's our next phase. I'm going to put a little bit of this color in here, I think. She says... Was that a camera, Lucinda, in front of your work table? Do you like it? A camera, like the thing that I have this sitting in? Is that what you mean? The, what I have my phone sitting in? I'm not sure what you mean. I do have, um, I got this new thing that I have the my phone sitting in, and I do like that. It's better than that squeaky thing I was using before. I need to work on my... Uh, my tools of the trade a little bit. I need some new, uh, I need some new supplies. Some of my favorite paints are running out, but if I have a little bit of art income from the holidays, that's what I'm gonna do with it. Yeah, the black thing. Yes, it's called, a, mm, what is it called? Oh, here, I'll show it to you. So it's called, I can't remember what it's called. I had the box here. It's this thing. So it, the phone's sitting in this, and then it's hooked to this light. It's really to do selfies. I guess you're supposed to turn this light around and shoot it at yourself so that you look good. <laughs> but I'd rather have it shine on my paintings. But see, now you see that ring. But I do like it. It's quieter. It's smooth. It does, like when I sit it away, see how it moves a little bit? But this was a little bit longer, um, but then it might weigh too heavy and maybe pull the whole thing over. It clips onto my table. It's not noisy, so yeah, I'm very happy with it. And if you wonder what what brand it is, because I don't know what I did with the box, um, you can direct message me and I can tell you <laughs> all these fun things. Now, what color do I want to make that background? I've got to stay on task here, don't I? I always get off task. Um, what's everybody having, coffee or tea this morning? Sometimes I like to add the complementary color, but not in this case. I'm not wanting to do red. I don't know why my paint's so wet today. Like That's all running, but I'm just going to go with it. I'm just not going to worry about it. 
enjoy the journey. Don't worry about that because sometimes then that's when the, the happy accidents happen. Right? Coffee. Ellen's having coffee. I am too. That is just really drippy. It's unusual. It's not usually that crazy drippy. I think I'm going to do my background in um, manganese blue hue. Kind of like the color of the... I just kind of feel like it. I like doing things just because I feel like it sometimes. Must have coffee. I know, I was thinking about giving it up, but I don't know. I always think about it, and then I don't do it. I've done it every time I've been pregnant I gave it up for my whole pregnancy and I was fine without it but it's such a I just look forward to it and just one unless I'm super low energy I might get one in the middle of the day but very rarely look how wet that is isn't that crazy it's not usually this wet fun right all right I'm going to clean up my wet um, paint here my easel and I'm going to do my my uh, RNF pigment sticks so I'm going to do something fun um, well I think I am uh, I'm going to do do you know who, who Bonnie Christine is she as a surface pattern designer and she has cool little um, class. I haven't taken her class, but I do her little free things. Not because I wouldn't, I would love to, and eventually I will, eventually I love to do all these things. But um, she's doing a free kind of like little lesson on how to create your own um, surface pattern. And I wanna do that. I don't really have time for it right now, but I'm gonna do it. Let's see what happens. I always few of the things I want to do is learn pattern, surface pattern design. Um, and I also want to learn Procreate, which is a drawing program that you do on your iPad. I even have the cool little pen. I just got it out. It's this pencil. It's um for an iPad. And I have this stuff. I just need to find the time to do it. Maybe that'll happen over break too. But anyway, Bonnie Christine, she's adorable, and she is doing this free class, free tutorial. Um, and it's, I think it starts today. Um, and it's to learn surface pattern design. So check her out if you guys, I'm sure if you go to her her like website or her uh, page on on Instagram. It probably links you through if anybody else wants to do it with me. Art Rage for iPad painting. Oh, let me write that down. Art Rage on my little notes here. I just got the best little note. You know, I need. I really want to work on a online course. <clears throat> and right when I turned on this little my little uh, thing to do live this morning, a little message came up. I don't even know what it was on, but it said, sometimes you've just got to create what you want to be part of. And I love that. I like our little group here. It's so fun, right? So what's new in everybody else's world? Have you guys, are you, anyone on here doing like holiday sales? Are they going well? Um, are you just busy decorating? Do you have family coming in? We will have probably... Um, that looks kind of fun, doesn't it? We will probably have like 40 people at our house for Christmas. It will be crazy and exhausting and fun and... 
Danny Gregory did procreate class. Oh, and I want to do Tila Cunningham too. Danny Gregory. Oh look, I'm writing that down, and that's why the phone's bumping. So, do any of you guys use Skillshare? There's some good ones in there too. Okay, I like it so far. It's it's fun. So there it is in its glorious mess, and I'll turn you this way to mix some paints. Just as I'm in an online classroom. Chair, oh, that chair whimsy looks like so much fun. Is that the real cool chairs that that they have cool fabrics on? Just got my studio set up in the condo we just moved into. Looking forward to painting in it. Oh, Jackie, that sounds amazing. How fun. Okay, I never did find my Viridian, did I? So, RNFs. Yes, Ellen, I did those. Um, try to gesso panel yesterday like you are painting on. Found it to be slippery. No, I don't. You can, Susie. You could put gesso on it if you want to, but I don't. I like it a little slippery. You saw how I let that all kind of look like. Um, there's my pigment stick. Um, oh, I didn't put any gold on there. I might want a little gold. I'm going to get that out so I don't forget. Um. I like it a little slippery in the beginning where it kind of runs and looks like watercolor. And then um, and then when I put this next layer on it, it, now I have been very unhappy with my, my I can't find a um, palette knife that I love. And then I did like this one, but I used it for something else. And look, it's bent. So I can't get it straight again. I found there's a cool web company that they make like handmade palette knives. And I might treat myself to one of those. But I'm going to try a different one today and see what happens. So I need, I really think I need Viridian. No, wait, let me look over here. What on earth did I do with it? Sometimes when I lose my paints, they're like underneath the container. I can't quite have enough room for everything. I f do you guys feel like that? I feel like my art stuff just grows and grows and grows. It's not even that I really have that much more. Somehow it just, oh, here it is. Sitting right out front so I know where it is. It just seems to expand. All right, I want to keep that out. All right, so I want to do that dark greenish. Oh, this palette knife already feels better to me. Bent palette knives are just not very much fun. But I think I need a smaller one. It's nice. Oh, yeah, a little purple into that to make it really dark. All right, so that's a really nice dark. Little, I'll try a little bit of this. This is a paint that I don't use. It's a little dry, but it's Vasari's Cobalt Blue Turquoise. Isn't that pretty? Trees. Oh, do you think I'm painting trees? I'm doing an ornament that's kind of a vintage greenish bluish color that's going to be super challenging to, to get, I think. But We'll enjoy the process of trying, right? Um, all right, so I'm gonna go, I wanna have a sip of coffee is what I want here. Um, I think I'm gonna do, I wanna see what a little bit of Caribbean blue looks like. And I need more of this color, this Vasari. Love this. I'm almost out of this. I hope Santa brings me some of this Vasari paint. What palette are you? Oh, glass tinted. Oh, there's just a piece of glass that I have a I have a piece of gray board. I painted a board underneath it gray. 
let's just put stuff on the edges. Um, I actually got a piece of um, marble to try to use as a palette. Well, that's so blue, but I do like it. I want to keep a little bit of that, but I need to make that more yellow. Um, I was thinking about trying it as a palette. It could stain. It might not work, but I've been using it kind of as a background for my photos. If you notice, some of my latest photos have been been on marble. I know, wouldn't it? So I sealed it, but I think it's still going to stain. I just got like a sample piece at a local marble shop. Um, plus, I thought you guys would be able to see. Oh, here I'm off the edge. Now, now I'm going to pull this over here and look at it like this. To, whoops. Oh, that's... Mm, there is probably some of that in there. Definitely. Okay. Will likely stain, but how fun. I know, I think so too. I like that like when things stain that's fine with me oops yeah so I think I will maybe after the holidays now somehow I feel like I have no paint left that always happens Those are good. Try quartz. I think it's super durable and not as porous. Okay, I should look for that. Um, just thinking, I feel like I need another color, so I'm going to do it with this maybe. Quartz. I have to remember that. Oh, yeah, you can see what I'm doing. So that's a lighter blue color. They're fun colors. Yeah, me too, Sandra. I'm liking the colors. So, um, a little bit more white out here. Now, this isn't actually white. This is in brilliant yellow, extra pale. It's like a warmer white. I need something just a touch of yellow but I would like it I think to be now I have my yellow I didn't have room for it over here because I have all the paintings that I'm getting ready um I'll be right back oh this is what I'm looking oh no that's not it oh yikes oh here it is genuine Naples yellow light it if I mix that with the white, it makes a real nice, um, I just need a tiny little bit of it. So I think I need some yellow. Um, that's nice, isn't that pretty? All right, I think that's a lovely palette. Oops, thing on the floor. I always have paint all over the bottoms of my feet. Yeah, it's buttery, isn't it? That the this it that butteriness comes from from uh, what? Where was it? How did I just lose that already? Look, this is what I'm working with. Look, that's my mess. To be totally honest, look at that. <clears throat> I um, was listening to, I love the little videos by, um, I'm sure I've mentioned him before, um, Brian Rutenberg, like you can find him on YouTube, and I just, when I just want to like, 
learn about art, but relax and enjoy the journey, like watching something, like television. Like I binge watch his videos and it validated. I'm, I wish I wasn't as messy as I am. I wish I wasn't messy at all. But he said artists are supposed to be messy because you would never find unusual connections or things if you everything in your world was orderly. So that made me feel a little better that I have a reason why I'm not tidy and organized. So are you guys, what are you guys? Are you organized or not? I think a lot of artists aren't, but I think some are too. I mean, it's certainly a quality I, I aspire to, but never achieve. Messy. Yeah, me too. Messy. An organized mess. That's perfect combination. Messy, wanting to be neat and tidy. That's me, Ellen. Me too. Always aspiring, never, never attaining it, but I'll never stop trying. Organized mess. Yes, organized mess does. That's a good combination. I actually... When I put things away, I, I forget about them, like out of sight, out of mind, for sure. But like I, I'm organized, like if I, I know where things are usually. Do I hear, yes, Susie, you did hear geese going. You just heard geese. I, I don't know, I, it, maybe it's going to snow here. I hope not. I don't know that they're calling for snow, but that was definitely geese going. Flying south. Maybe they're a little late, but we've had a really mild fall, so they might have no idea that they should have been south a while ago. Messy with a little organization thrown in, Jackie. That's perfect. Yeah, that's so funny. You could hear those geese going by. They were a noisy crowd. I'm putting in some of my darks here, trying to be a little more intentional with my brush strokes and not just slopping things in. What number brush? Um, I'm using a four. The Monarch, Windsor Newton Monarch number 14 brush. I tend to use this smaller one. Well, you know why too. I don't always on these six by six panels. Sometimes I use the larger brush, but when I'm painting these ornaments, I do use a smaller brush. I should kind of force myself not to, but... Holding my breath. <clears throat> okay. I probably should use a bigger brush here in the background. Um, 
when you hold your breath, we do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh, it's crazy. I try to pay attention when I do that and kind of stop myself because... That was a messy stroke right there. Now I got white in my dark, dark color. I think that's okay. Hmm. This looks like it has a little red in the shadow. Do you see that kind of red down in here? And green, more green up here. I should do more. I need uh I know I lost that color again. Darn it. Oh well. What did I do with it? I just showed it to you. The uh I really don't have that many colors out here. How do I lose them that quickly? I have no idea what I did with the uh that yellowish white. all dirty. Now that is absolutely crazy that I misplaced that color already. It's got to be right here in front of me. Here it is. I found it. It was right where you guys could see it and I couldn't, right? Oh, and I forgot to put a little gold in there. Should I do a little gold? I just feel like a little gold, maybe. Yes, I shall. You just thought of that the same time I did. I do want a little bit of gold in there. Oops, that made a lump there. These might be kind of fun if they were pointy. Like, I know they're oil paints and you can't really sharpen them or anything, but... Um, it would be kind of cool if they were just like a thinner stick. But they might, if they were a thinner stick, they probably would um, <clears throat> break easily. <laughs> That's so funny that we both thought of that at the exact same time. Fill this in a little bit. I'm gonna leave some of the strokes in the background. I don't want it to be totally smooth. Oh, do you think that where I was holding my breath, do you think the top's working? I do have a little something wonky there, but I will check that out in a little bit. <clears throat> I hold my breath when I'm doing these more than any other time. I 
Michelle says, uh, could you dip a paintbrush in medium and then rub it on the oil stick to get a finer strip? And that's a good idea. I don't know why I couldn't try that. Um, yeah. Eileen says, I love that your painting is more interesting than the original image. That is my goal. I mean, yes, when you want, when you're painting, you do want what you're creating to not be exact, but to find the good qualities and, and make them even better of what you're looking at. Um, because like in college, I had to do like comps of things and I'd have to be able to paint exactly what something looked like. And like, I know I can do that. I want to go beyond that. <clears throat> well... The brush on stick idea. Well, you guys should play around with it too. I'll, I'll try that. Um, to use the oil sticks and brush them on to get a thinner stroke. again. Towels. Color might be too light in there.
might need a little smaller brush. I feel like I'm <clears throat> feeling large. <clears throat> a lot of concentration it does. Joanne says, love it. I have a little Christmas tree with small turquoise ornaments and a ribbon. <clears throat> I've painted the ornaments in watercolor, something magical. Yes, I agree. I love the turquoise too. <clears throat> it is such a cool color. That got a little wide up there, didn't it? <clears throat> this is really kind of just goes straight like that. Yeah, you can hear me concentrating, can't you? <laughs> It looks okay. It looks okay in the camera. I feel like it looks like it's jutting out a little bit here when I'm looking at, but I think it's okay. I to put my elbow down here. It's the part where it's tricky because you have to paint what you see, not what you think you see. really challenging. Paper towels, never enough of those. Hold in your breath with me again.
Will you add the shadows from that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to do that. All right. Let me... Uh, how close are we? 51. My goodness. Time flies when you're having fun. All right. Let me do a couple highlights here. See if I can add the little... Uh, I'll find little extras here like this. Okay, yes, I'm not afraid to add this thing. It's always scary, like, to add this at the end. You know what I mean? Like, super scary. Okay. And it's going to go, it's pretty big. And this. Now I'm really holding my breath. I have too much paint in my brush. Here, more geese. All right, and this little thing's coming in from the other side. I guess I'll just uh, add it because it really is. Now, if you can tell, mm -hmm. a little more work there. How much time do I have? Fifty-three. I'm still. I still have plenty of time. Oh, I have more shadows down there. Isn't that what's the matter? Here, let me see. This is going on here. Don't make it complicated. No, that's good. What do you think, guys? Oh, gorgeous, love the colors, beautiful. Oh, everybody's been talking, you did it. Using a liner brush. Yes, this is, I like this brush. This is um, a Rosemary & Company Eclipse Pointed Round 2, two slash 0. I love it. It's my favorite little itty bitty brush. I use it. It's my bird's eye brush. That's what I call it. That's when I paint. 
paint those little dots in the bird's eyes, which is what I use. I think finished. What do you guys think? Am I finished? I'm gonna sign it. I'm all messy. I should do it over here in the shadow, maybe. That's so complicated. I think I'm just gonna do it down here. Just like that. So I think I'm happy with it. And there's my reference. So very fun, right? And there's my palette. And that's all of my mess. <laughs> that's, see, I'm messy. And then here are my, my paints and stuff. So, with perfect timing, thanks for coming and hanging out with me this morning. Um, and uh, we'll do it again next week. Um, and you can let me know. You can message me if you have any questions or anything. And I'm off to work. Have a great day. Bye.